Wave, good morning, afternoon, afternoon, right? Where we've got three minutes until we start, all right? So three minutes. Or two minutes. What are you doing? Morning, Rob. How are you? You all right? Oh, my neck is feeling a bit tight, man. Boy. Must have slept on it. Funny, you know? funny sleep neck. That's what it is. Morning, guys. This is upper body. Costain, yes, yes. Claudio, Altaf, yes, yes. Good morning. Oh, afternoon. It's afternoon, right? I just woke up. I didn't just wake up. Um, two minutes, and then we're gonna go upper body. Okay, so we're gonna pump up the upper body. Really pump them up. You're going to need two dumbbells. I've got two 10s here. I wish I had two 40s, but they're busy. So I've got two 10s. That's what I'm going to use to pump it up. Uh, chest press, triceps, biceps, and lots of ab work today, okay? That's what we're going to do. Wave, wave. We've got a minute and a half until we start. I'm just, um, I did Metcon yesterday. A little bit sore. So I'm going to take it easy today. Definitely no burpees. Just uh, pump up the upper body, okay? Ugh. One minute, we'll lift off. So if you don't have any weights, you don't have any dumbbells, you can't do any of the exercises, just let me know. I'll keep an eye on the comments, and I'll let you know, all right? Uh, we could find an alternative. Probably burpees if you don't have any weights. Just do that for 45 minutes. Ugh. Okay. 30 seconds, there we go. Make sure you have a nice space. You're not going to knock anything over. I've got my towel there. I've got my couch there in case I need to collapse. And I have a glass of water. That will be enough. You shouldn't drink too much. You shouldn't need that much uh, water anyway. 20 seconds. We're going to start off. So upper body and core. Need two dumbbells or even one dumbbell will work. You need a space on the floor. If you have a mat, definitely use a mat. 14 kg kettlebell, 10 kg dumbbell. So one arm, yep, that's perfect, man. You can do one arm at a time. We'll go for it that way. Um, all right, I think, I mean, maybe it's a bit early, but people can catch up. Let's warm up first, get into a space, and we can warm up, okay? So in your space, what you says slowly reach down, toes, loosen up your upper body, slowly reach down, yeah? Try to keep your legs a little bit straight, you should put a little bit of hamstring loops there. And then from there, I want you to walk yourself out, and then drop hips into the floor, hips into the floor, and then lean back, reach hands forward, lean back, that's forward. Bring it back, push your hips into the floor, arms straight, and then lean back, that's forward. Do those. Again, hips in the floor, arms straight, chest up. Lean back, hands forward, for one more, hips into the floor, chest up, and back, hands forward, there, all right? Then from there, I want you to reach one arm through, reach through, then rotate up, facing in that direction, you can turn your head. Then reach through again, reach, and rotate up, through, there. Reach, rotate, a nice stretch. Open up the chest. Boom. All right, let's do the other side. So same, same thing. Other side, reach through. Rotate as far as you can, all the way up. 
facing the ceiling. Through, take the angle. Through, rotate, facing up. Take your time, no rush here. Rotate, reach, and then rotate. And then from there, let's bring your right foot forward, back leg is straight. Drop that right elbow to the right foot towards it as low as you can. Then rotate again up to the ceiling. Drop, rotate, drop, rotate. Get as low as you can with this elbow. All right, change sides, do the other side. So I'm going left leg. I'm going to drop that left elbow towards, back leg is straight. I'm going to rotate as far as I can. Drop, rotate. All right, and then from there, let's go on the floor. Uh, sorry about the angle. On the floor, have your knees up, feet up. Then I just want to go to the left side. Uh, sorry, that's my right. Your left. All right, it's up to you. Right, keep both shoulders on the floor, flat on the floor. Just go from left side to right side. Nice and slowly control it. Sorry about the view, okay? It's not the best view, I'm sorry. Nice. <sighs> All right, good there. Let's get up. And then from there, just want you to open up your chest, cross over your arms, open chest, cross over. Boom. Let's go 30 seconds there. Carry on going. Thanks, Emily. Sorry about the view. All right, let's make circles. Circles with the arms. Boom. And change direction with your arms. Then from there, just rotate the trunk, rotate around the trunk. We have some bad work today, so on the trunk to be nice and agile. Boom. All right, that'll do it. Good stuff. All right, so for the warm up, we're going to do a warm up. Warm up, uh, we're going to do three exercises. Uh, we're going to spend 45 seconds on each exercise. You can go 50 seconds if you want, and then we'll go 10 seconds or 15 seconds recovery, depending on how much you want to work, okay? So the three exercises are going to be back extension on the floor, so you're in prone position, chest, shoulders off the floor, and then we're going to go from back extension into plank, shoulder tap, so straight arm plank, tap shoulder, and then we're going to go into dips. I'm going to use my couch here, yeah, so I'm going to do dips from there. So just to go over it nice and quick, back extension, flat on the floor. You can raise your legs, keep your legs straight, raise them if you want to fire glutes that little bit more. And from there, hands on the head. And I just want you to raise chest, chest and shoulders off the floor. Try not to put too much tension in your neck, okay? It should be level with your shoulders. So your shoulders come up, your head should come up. But try not to put tension in the neck, flexing backwards, all right? Uh, from there, hold, second, and then slowly on the way down, and then come up, hold. All right, and then after that, you've got 10, 15 seconds recovery. We're going to go into straight arm plank, and I just want tap, tap. If you are advanced, you can do a push-up, but there are push-ups later, so you might want to save it. And then the last one, dips, okay? We're going to go, those three exercises, three, uh, two times. So we're going to back extension, back shoulder taps, dips, back extension, back shoulder taps, dips. So six minutes of work. Dips, if you can get a chair, just make sure the chair doesn't buckle over. Um, on the chair or on the sofa, hands on there, feet out in front. It's going to drop and then drive up. Okay? Make sure your back is nice and close to the sofa. You don't want to be far away and your arm shouldn't be in that kind of tension. All right. All right. We're going to go in 10 seconds. And I'll, I'll let you know the time. So just listen out for me calling out the time. Five seconds, we go. Back extension. So set yourselves up on the floor. Three, two, one, and time. Let's go back extensions. Little hold at the top. Keep an eye on your neck. 
Hey, Mark, wave. There, little hold and slowly down. Try and squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. A little bit of tension for your, throughout your trunk. There, nice and tight. Slowly down, relax. Up. And relax. Stop, keep going. Be A few more seconds. Up. 15 seconds, then you can recover. All right, three, two, one, and time there. All right, that's 15 seconds recovery. So recover. Hi, Kirsten. We're just starting the warm up. We're going into 10 seconds. We're going to go into plank shoulder taps if you want to jump in. Plank shoulder taps in three, two, one, and time. Here, yeah. take your time and try not to rotate too much with your body. It's going to happen a little bit, but try and stay as straight as you can, all right? Straight as you can. Squeeze your bum a little bit so it tightens your abdominals as well. Squeeze your bum, then tap, tap, tap. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. They're not too far in front, too far out to the side. 20 seconds left. And think about keeping this in tension, keeping it tight, right? Bracing, keeping it tight. As well as squeezing your glutes at the back would help squeezing your stomach. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. We have dips. So on the stairs or on your couch, you're gonna go dips. Five seconds, go. Make sure you don't fall off your couch. Three, two, one, dips. Slowly on the way down, push up. Keep your chest nice and tall. Squeeze the back of your arm, push yourself up. Squeeze your arms. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Fifteen seconds, then we're back on the back extensions. Back on the back. Five seconds. Three, two, one, back extensions. You hold the top, squeeze your glutes, tight core, control it down, relax. Come up. Uh, Fifteen seconds left. I have to check the clock. Sorry. Three, two, one, and time. 15 seconds. Now we go into shoulder taps. Shoulder taps, then dips, then we can recover. Five seconds. Three, two, one, shoulder taps. Nice and straight, your body nice and straight. Squeeze good hips a little bit. Tight glutes, then tap. Tap, take your time, no rush. Tap, tap. Try and stay as straight as possible. Keep an eye on your form. Breathe, of course. Fifteen seconds. Tight, tight, tight. Five, four. Three, two, one, and relax. You've got dips, then you can recover. Dips. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, dips. Let's go. Squeeze the back of your arms. 
Chest pull, slowly on the way down. Drive up, keep your abs tight. Trunk nice and tight. Control it down. Drive up, air up. Twenty seconds left. Oh. Those are time. Arms are on fire. A few more seconds. Few more reps. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Well done. That was a warm up. Good work. A king wave. Awesome. Little recovery, sip of water if you need some. And then we can start the main workout, okay? Main, main workout, it's going to be four exercises. Uh, we're going to go for eight rounds. And then um, have a little break, and then we do another eight rounds, all right? So there's four exercises. On the first round, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll tell you the first four exercises. On the second round, we're gonna tweak them just a little bit, all right? So just a little bit, not, not nothing too complicated. All right, so four exercises, and we're gonna do 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. If you want to do more than 45, if you wanna do 50 seconds, that is fine, and then you can take 10 seconds rest. I'll try and tell you when the time is. Unless you have a clock, you can time it yourself, all right? Um, first exercise is tricep overhead extension okay so if you rather do it on the floor you can otherwise take one or two uh one of you has one uh dumbbell one kettlebell right so if you're holding one just there try and have a neutral grip this is what i do i don't know if you can't really see that i do that so it's pretty neutral i'm not putting one arm on top because that's uneven right so i kind of have it neutral as neutral as possible it's going to be behind my head here, nice and close, so it's not too far, but obviously I don't want to hit my head, so I angle it. You can angle it with your thumbs, your thumbs are underneath the dumbbell, so it's away from your head. So there, nice and slowly, and then extend up. When you straighten your arm just a little bit, that should fire your triceps. You can use two dumbbells if you want to, one isn't heavy enough. First exercise, second exercise, we've got a pull, a back, okay? So, you need to get in a bent over row position, so there, so upright, chest nice and tall, hinge at the hips just a little, and then from there, my legs are taking the load and I can work on the row. Little hold here, you're pulling up into your rib cage, slowly on the way down. Pull, squeeze rib cage, slowly on the way down. Third exercise on the floor, lying down, is chest press. So just on the floor, dumbbells by the side, they should be level with the, the bottom of your chest or the middle of your chest. Go for a press, they kind of end up on the top of your chest. On the way down, they kind of end up in line with the middle bottom of your chest, okay? Drive up, and then slowly on the way down, control those weights down. After that, we're just going to do a hollow hold, just here. So legs as straight as you can, legs as straight as you can. Lift up the chest and shoulders off the floor, hold that position for 45 seconds, okay? Keep an eye on your neck, you don't want to put too much strain. If you feel like you are putting too much strain, put your head down on the floor and drop your upper body. Just raise your legs, have your legs raised. If your lower back goes, if you feel lower back a bit, just raise your legs a little bit higher so you can push your lower back into the floor, all right? Those are the exercises, and then I'll tell you the changes on the next round. So we're gonna do those four, no break, and go straight into those four again. We'll do it twice, all right? We're going 30 seconds. We'll do that twice, those four exercises. So eight minutes of work, then we'll have a minute break and then we'll go in again and I'll change it up a little bit. All right, we're gonna go in 15 seconds. Everyone good with that? Thanks, Shane. Everyone's good. Set your music. All right, five seconds. Sorry, five seconds from now. Go in three, two, one, and time. Triceps, extensions overhead. I'll tell you the time, unless you have your own time. Slowly on the way down. You should get 10 to 15 reps. If you have a good pace. Don't want to go too quick. You want to control the weight, stretch the muscle, 
Extend. Stretch and extend. Try and stay as upright as possible. Chest tall. All right, 20 seconds left. A few more seconds, a few more reps. Our triceps are burning. Three, two, one, and time. If you want to do 50 seconds, do another two reps from here. That's 50 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. We go into bent over row. Set yourself up. Make sure your back is nice and straight for bent over row. Three, two, one, bent over row. Little squeeze at the top, slowly on the way down. If you have a mirror, check your back, see if it's straight. Little row. If you've got one dumbbell, just do one arm at a time and then change on. Do one arm and then change the change to your other arm. Make sure you do the same reps on both arms, okay? Otherwise, one arm will be bigger. 15 seconds. A uh, few more seconds, few more reps. Ah, time there. You can do a few more if you want. You've got 15 seconds. Chest press is next, chest press. Go in, three, two, one, and time is good. Chest press, flat on the floor. Drive up strong, slowly on the wheel. Twenty seconds left. Twenty seconds. A few more seconds. A few more reps. Three, two, one, and time. We have hollow rock next. Hollow rock. Remember, keep an eye on your neck. Not too much tension. All right. Legs straight as you can. Chest and shoulders off the floor, but no strain on the neck. We're going three, two, one. Time. Just holding that position. Make sure tension is on abs. You should feel it. Do it right. Legs as straight as you can. It's about a foot off the floor. Foot, foot and a half. Do feel your neck. Put your head down. Arms straight up. <sighs> Feel your lower back, the legs a little bit higher, tuck your lower back into the floor. Ten seconds left. Tension on out, you feel tension here. Good work. Three, two, one, time. Start from back to the beginning. We have tricep overhead. Two seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Triceps, overhead. Let's go. Go again. Nice and slow. Stretch your triceps. Move. Stretch, extend. Stretch, extend. Chest tall. Stomach tight. Halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm breaking, I need a break. Let's carry on going, don't worry about me. <clears throat> 10 seconds left. Back in. Oh. Three, two, one, and time. Recover. Oh. 10 seconds. We have bent over row. Three, two, one, bend over row. Nice and straight on your back, load up. Hip hinge, load up your legs. Go. Nice and slowly down, squeeze your back, open your chest. Pull your dumbbells into your ribs. Keep your ribs straight, slowly down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, 15 seconds. Carry on going. Two more reps. Three, two, one. Time. Cover. Two more seconds. We've got chest press on the floor. Chest press. Three, two, one. Time. Chest press. Slowly down, work it up. 15 seconds, two more reps. Three, two, one, and time. Hollow rock, then we can rest. Hollow rock, then we rest. Have a little rep. Two seconds, ten seconds, then we go, okay? Hollow rock, then we go. Five seconds, four, three, Two, one, legs straight, chest and shoulders off the floor, relax the neck, tension on the stomach, touch it, touch it, see if it's working. <clears throat> try and work on your breathing here, obviously feel your abs, but try not to think about it too much, send you somewhere else. 20 seconds, halfway. Feel your neck, put it down on the floor. Feel your lower back, raise your legs that little bit more. Two more seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Sweet. All right, we'll have a minute there. Let me just explain, we're gonna do that the same, exactly the same, but so triceps overhead is the same. The we're gonna change the bent over row to upright row. So the dumbbells I want you to hold in front, one or two. And I just want your elbows nice and high. Probably better to hold it in the middle or a kettlebell. And then from there, get the elbows nice and high. Right, you've got two each arm, elbows nice and high, right in front of you there. Okay. The chest press third exercise. When you're doing close grip, so instead of the normal chest press, bring the dumbbells together, so we do a close grip chest press. And then the fourth exercise, instead of the hollow rock, so instead of the hollow hold, we're gonna do the rock. So instead of just holding that position, I want you to add a little rock to it, okay? So a little roll, just a little, not a lot. And while you're rocking, you should feel a little bit extra abs working there, okay? When you're ready, we've got 10 seconds, and then we go. Woo! So triceps overhead, just listen to me, I'll tell you. Three, two, one, let's go. Back into the triceps, overhead. 45 seconds work. Slowly on the way down, then work it up. Three, two, one, and time. Well, getting carried away there. Yeah? Doing it. All right, upright row. In five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Upright row. Chest nice and tall, back straight. All these weights up. Squeeze that upper back. Chest tall. Try not to use your hips. Maybe it looks like I'm doing it. Trying not to, but I'm weak. <sighs> Make sure you're leading with the elbows. Your elbows are leading. You're pulling these weights up. Like you're pulling your pants on. 
Don't put your pants that high, yeah? 15 seconds, chest tall, and try, try and brace your core as you do the pull, and then relax here. Brace core. Brace core, yeah? Three, two, one, and then enough. Chest press, we're gonna go close grip. So on the floor, put thumbnails together, close grip. They should be around the middle, lower part of your chest. Five, four, three, two, one, close grip. Let's go. Dumbbells together, press slowly down. Perfect. Yeah. Should be on top of your chest. Mid, bottom chest, slowly down. Keep the elbows tucked into your body. Right, these up. Halfway. 20 seconds left. <laughs> Three, two, one, time. Look the whole rock, so we're gonna rock this time. Tense your a banana and you're walking on the floor. Okay, I'll try and show you as best I can. You're at five, four, three, two, one, and then there. Little rock, just a little one. There, tension. Tension. Have nice and tight, just a little rock. Keeping them in tension. Halfway, 20 seconds left. Then we start from the beginning. Exercises, then we're done here. Three, two, one, triceps, nice and slow, extend. Chest tall. Oh. Easy, yeah? Oh. Nice and slow, extend. Oh. There you go, easy. 20 seconds left, keep going. 20 seconds left. Hi Jasmine, Wade. Hi BJ Roll, Wade. Tomorrow, Dora, Wade, Wade, Wade. Better be doing these. A few more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Hold this one. We got upright row. It's hot in here. Someone left the oven on. All right, we've got five seconds. It's melting in here. Three, two, one, time. Upright row, get the elbows nice and high. Try and brace for your core. When you pull up, brace. Brace. There. Upright row. Brace. Good. Chest tall, neutral shoulders. Get the elbows nice and high. Try and control it down. Huh? I'm tired, they're dropping, but try and control it as best you can. Control it, there you go. Control it. Yeah. Control it. Chest tall. Knees up. Control it. Brace through the core. 10 seconds. A few more reps. 10 seconds. Three. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. It's done. Your chest press, close grip, chest press. Press on the floor. We go five, four, three, two, one. Chest press. Close grip. Five 
Ten seconds left. Two more reps. Last one. Ah. Three, two, one. Time. Ah. Hollow rock. A oh, few seconds. Ten seconds. Then we go hollow rock. High coast day. Wave, wave. Three, two, one. Hollow rock. Oh, last one. Just a little rock. Tension on the abs. Tension. Tension. Right, halfway. Twenty seconds. Carry on. Bye. Let's go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Holy smokes. Oh. Hi, Becca. Wave. All right, rest up. Rest up. If you can't come, rest up. Have a little break. That's done. That is done. Easy. That's how I like it. Have a sip of water. Wipe down. Towel down. Sip of water. Or maybe just me. Good work. That's our main workout done. We have a finisher. It's gonna be an uh, EMOM for six minutes. It's a bad idea, right? I'm not sure. So every minute, we're gonna be doing work, okay? Nice and simple though. It's going to be bicep curls. And every minute, you're gonna do bicep curl curls and I want you to aim for 10 to 15 reps, okay? Try and get that and get your work done about 35. No worries, you can catch up later, Kirsty. You can catch up later. Watch it again later or on YouTube tomorrow. Um, 10 to 15 reps each minute. Try and aim for 35 to 45 seconds to get them done. 50 seconds max. Take the rest of that minute recovery. It will be like 10 or 15 seconds. And then next exercise, the next exercise next minute is push up with rotations, okay? Same thing, I want you to aim for 10 to 15 reps um, for about 35 to 45 seconds. And we're gonna do that for six minutes. So that'll be six rounds, three exercises, uh, two exercises, you'll do them three times each. Too much numbers now, I'm confusing myself. All right, we're gonna go in 40 seconds because that's when my clock will reset to zero. That's the only place I can count in zero, all right? So remember, bicep curls, I don't mind you doing Zotman curls, or hammer curls, you can mix up the curls however you want. You can even add a press to the curls, but it'll be less reps, um, but it's up to you. And then push-up rotation, it's just down, and then rotate round, all right? And then down, rotate round. If you're tired to do push-ups, do them on your knees, you'll get them done, right? All right, time is now, we've got five seconds. Bicep curls in three, two, one, Time, 10 to 15 reps, try and aim. Depending on you, if you want more endurance, you do more curls, more reps, more endurance. If you want more power, heavier weights, and then slow, more slow. Take time doing them. Hi, right, Kobe. Uh, halfway, so you've got about 20 seconds left. Finish off your reps, get your reps out. Oh. I'll let you know the time. All right, you got 20 seconds left until the next minute. Ah, it's enough for me. You got 10, 15 reps. Take the rest of that minute off. You got 10 seconds, and then we go push up rotations. 10 to 15 again. Try to aim. Three, two, one. Time. Push up rotations. Down, rotate, down, rotate, turn your body sideways, down, boom, boom. If you can't do them, do them on your knees. Ooh. 
All right, that's halfway. You've got 30 seconds left. Keep going. All right, done. You've got more reps. Keep going. Two minutes in, we've got four minutes left. All right, 10 seconds. Recover, you should be recovering now, you're back on the biceps. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Biceps, slowly down. Curl, squeeze your arms. Slowly down, stretch your arms, all right? Squeeze. And then stretch, control it all the way down. You don't need to go all the way up, just enough to fire your biceps. Just there, and then slowly down. Little hold at the top, slowly down. Oh. Biceps are on fire, you can have a rest. 30 seconds left, if you haven't finished your reps, you've got 30 seconds. Go ahead. 20 seconds left. Oh. Done? All right, recover now. We've got 10 seconds until the next one. Recover, push up rotation. Five, four, three, two, one, and five. Push up rotations. Oh, speed up. Yeah, you like it, Rob? It's good tunes. 25 seconds left. If you've got more reps, carry on. 25 seconds. Thanks, Rob. All right, recover. 10 seconds left. Recover for the final two exercises. Back onto biceps in five, four, three, two, one. Biceps. Work it. Control it. We're only 25 seconds in, we've got 35 seconds still. 30 seconds left. Finish off your reps. Last one. Twenty seconds left. Finish off your reps. Oh. Ten seconds. Recover. Recover. Oh. Five. Push up rotations. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last one. Let's uh, my shoulders. 40 seconds left. Loads of time. Finish off your reps. All right, 20 seconds. Still got reps, finish them off. Nice one. And recover there, recover. That's time there, well done. Woo. All right, easy, easy, easy. Good work, guys, well done. That's the workout done. We're just gonna stretch off a little bit if you want. To hang around, you can do some stretching. Uh, well done, easy. All right, we'll just go arms across chest, just stretch back of your arms, just a little bit in the back here, and a little stretch back of the shoulder there. 
Well done, easy work. Oh. All right, change arm, do the other arm, arm across, a little bit back here. Awesome work, Rob, thank you. <clears throat> Hope you got a good pump. Yeah, well done, Kirsty. You can do it again later, though. Um, if anyone has like a massive pump, send us the picture, we'll, we'll put, upload it somewhere, right? Massive pump, only. Let's go behind the head, just a little bit on this elbow here, and then you just want to reach your hand down your back there. Reach it down as far as you can. Nice and upright, don't put too much tension on the neck there. Just back here. And then change arm. I need to get knee pads because my knees are sore from all this kneeling I'm doing. All right, and then from there, push your hips into the floor. If your abs are tired, would have been a, this would be a nice stretch for your abs. <laughs> no worries, Constantine. We've got loads of money, man. We've got loads of money. <laughs> And then from there, lean your hips back, hands forward, hips back, hands forward. And then from there, lean one arm through, lean your weight, one arm through, lean your weight on that arm, that shoulder that's on the floor. And change arm to the upper arm. Awesome. That will do. All right. Good work, guys. Thank you very much. <sighs> nice little pump there for me and for you. Okay. Hopefully, you got a good pump there. Um. Meet us again here tomorrow. I think it's yoga day tomorrow, and there's kettlebells at lunchtime tomorrow. Okay, good work, everyone. Uh, for homework, everyone's homework is a thousand push ups before bed, and when you wake up tomorrow morning, another thousand push ups. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, there is a yoga tomorrow, uh, Constain. Yoga, thanks, Emily. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Kirby, for laughing. Thanks, Kirsty. Good work, everyone. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. And do a 10K right now to cool down, all right? 10K to cool down. Cool down. 10K outside. Thanks, Shay. Thanks, Kirsty. Thanks, Emily. Take care, guys. See you later, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs>